Well, the Wisconsin Badgers pull off a huge 42-7 victory. They are improved. They're 4-2, 2-1 of the conference. If you looked last week, you thought that, that one might have been a fluke. Well, nope, no further, because the Badgers pull off a huge win. And it was a similar story to last week. You know, you go through some adversity in the first half, have some good moments, have some moments that are left to be desired, and then you come out in the second half and you really knock them out. Wisconsin had 28 points in the second half after starting out with a 14-0 lead at halftime, and they end up pulling a big one off. This one was all about the run game, whereas last week was about the pass game. The Badgers ran for 312 yards, five touchdowns, and Tawi Walker had a monster game, 198 yards on 24 carries through two, uh, and three touchdowns. The Badgers pounded the ground very much in the first half. Walker had 18 carries alone in the first half, mind you. 19 carries was his season high thus far, and he had 18 in the first half. A big game for him. He was able to bust off a couple of chunk plays, but really was also just getting six, seven yard gains whenever he was normally running, you know, uh, on first and down, first and ten, second and ten, whatever it might have been. A really strong outing for the rushing attack. And then Braden Locke, he was 20 for 28, 240 yards, touchdown interception. A couple of throws that he probably wished to have back in the first half, you know, missed an out route uh, through the bad interception against cover two, um, you know, with the deep ball. But he bounced back. He was able to take his shots again. Six plays of over 15 plus yards. He had deep, uh, two deep ones to Vinny Anthony. Had a couple of nice balls in this one. And he's able to, you know, get some more consistency in another solid enough outing for the quarterback to get the offense to score 42 points this one was just dominant but you gotta also shout out the defense when you look at this defensive performance six points last week seven points this week they went up against a tough running back in Kyle Menungai, one of the top ones in the Big Ten, and Menungai was really limited. He had 39 car uh, yards on just his first 15 carries. Wisconsin essentially shut down the run game for the first three quarters. Menungai got something going. You know, he had a he had a good one drive that allowed Rutgers to score seven points, but apart from that, he was really limited on the day, under four yards per carry. Wisconsin shut down the run. Athen Kaliak Manis, similar to what he's been in the past, struggled in the air. Thir uh, 12 for 32, just 103 or 102 yards in the air. So not that much output there. Wisconsin gets the interception as well. And they pull off a really strong victory here, 42 to 7 on the road. This one's big because they're 4 and 2, 2 and 1 of the conference. And now they're going to face Northwestern in a game that they'll likely be favored with even on the road next weekend. Stay tuned though for all the live coverage because we got you coming later, uh, later today.